टुडे वी स्टडी वेदर द गिवन वेक्टर्स आर लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट और इंडिपेंडेंट बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज लीनियर डिपेंडेंसी एंड लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंसी सपोज द वेक्टर्स v1 x1 x2 xn x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on xn are said to be linearly independent if first of all we have to write down all these vector in the form of linear combination so suppose some constant say k1 into vector x1 plus k2 into vector x2 plus and so on the last combination is kn xn equal to 0 if in this linear combination if all k having value 0 that is after solving this equation if we get this k1 equal to 0 k2 equal to 0 k3 equal to 0 k4 and so on then kn equal to 0 then these vectors x1 x2 xn all these vectors are linearly independent so mathematically we can say that if all k i's are equal to 0 then it is linearly independent if not all zeros then it is called linearly dependent means what if at least one k i's is not equal to 0 then vectors are linearly dependent so what is linearly dependent and independent if all k i's value is equal to 0 then it is linearly independent and at least one k value is not equal to 0 that means not all zero then vectors are linearly dependent now what type of the question will be asked in examination so we will go through one of the format of the question the question is like this examine for linear dependence or independence the following system of vectors if dependent find out the relation between them now below this question they are given some set of vectors now we go through one of the counter example suppose they are given three vectors first vector x1 is equal to 3 1 minus 4 x2 is equal to 2 2 Minus three, x three is equal to zero minus four one. Now, how to solve this? First of all, we have to write down all these three vectors in the form of linear combination. Then we try to solve that equation with the help of linear system. Then we apply a row operation to find out the value of k one, k two, k three. If all k one, k two, k three are zero then it is linearly independent otherwise it is dependent 
step one consider the linear combination of vector combination of vectors k1 x1 plus k2 x2 plus k3 x3 equal to 0 where k1 k2 k3 k2 k3 are constants now if we substitute the value of x1 x2 x3 in the form of column matrix this linear combination look like k1 it is first vector is 3 1 minus 4 plus k2 2 2 minus 3 plus k3 into third vector 0 minus 4 1 equal to 0 0 0 now to solve this first of all we write this linear combination in the form of matrices so this can be written as the coefficient matrix 3 1 minus 4 2 2 minus 3 0 minus 4 1 into k1 k2 k3 is equal to 0 0 0 now once we get this we have apply row operation now to apply the row operation step 2 we consider augmented matrix what is augmented matrix we consider the coefficient matrix and 0 0 that is a constant matrix so the augmented matrix can be written as 3 1 minus 4 2 2 minus 3 0 minus 4 1 and the constant matrix 0 0 0 now first of all we want to find out the leading one in the first position now already we have leading one in first column so we try to interchange to these two value so by applying by r12 interchanging first row with the second row what we get the new augmented matrix is 1 2 minus 4 0 second one is 3 2 0 0 and the third one is minus 4 minus 3 1 and 0 now the second task is we have to make the below entry these two entry we have to make the zero now what will be the row operation for this 
Now the row operation is by using this leading one we have to make the below entry zero. The first row operation is by R2 that is R2 its entry so it is minus 3 R1 similarly R3 minus its entry it is minus 4 so it will become plus 4 R1 now by applying this row operation we get the first row there will be no row operation on the first row so it is 1 2 minus 4 it remains unchanged second row is 0 minus 4 12 0 and the third one is 0 5 minus 15 and 0 now the next task is next task is we have to make minus 4 and 5 as a leading one now to make minus 4 as 1 and 5 as 1 by row operation R2 divided by minus 4 gives new R2 and R3 divided by 5 gives new R3 so by applying these two row operation we get new augmented matrix so there will be no change in first row it is 1 2 minus 4 0 by applying R2 divided by minus 4 we get 0 1 minus 3 0 by applying R3 divided by 5 we get 0 1 minus 3 0 now out of this this one is nothing but our leading one now to make below entry 0 we have to apply the row operation by so we have to make R3 entry 0 so it is R3 minus its entry 1 into R2 because we have to use leading one from second row so by applying this row operation on third row so no change in the first and second row so it is 1 2 minus 4 0 0 1 minus 3 0 and 0 0 0 0 now here we have the four column with sorry here we have the three column with three unknown but for the first column we get the leading one second column we get the leading one but for the third column we don't have the leading one so for this third column we don't have the leading one means we have to consider some unknown value for the third variable so we consider or we put k3 is equal to t now from R2 that is the second row if you multiply 0 with k1 1 with k2 and minus 3 with k3 we get k2 minus 3 k3 equal to 0 by substituting the value of k3 is equal to t we get k2 is equal to 3 t similarly from R3 we get sorry not from R3 it is from R1 we get 1 into K1 is K1 plus 2 into K2 minus 4 into K3 equal to 0 so this implies k1 is equal to minus 2 k2 plus 4 k3 
by substituting the value of k2 and k3 minus 2 into 3t plus 4 into t so this is equal to minus 60 plus 40 and that is equal to minus 2t so the solution k1 k2 k3 is equal to the value of k1 is minus 2t value of k2 is 3t and the value of k3 is t so we get at least one value which is a non-zero means the given vectors are linearly independent so vectors are linearly sorry it is linearly dependent I made a mistake before the statement it is linearly dependent because at least one k value is non-zero now once we get the linearly dependent we want to find out the relation between them now how to find out the relation between them just by substituting the value of k1 k2 k3 in a linear combination now if we substitute the value of k1 is equal to minus 2t we get minus 2t into x1 plus value of k2 is 3t 3t x2 value of k3 is t t x3 equal to 0 ok now this can be written as minus 2 x1 plus 3 x2 plus x3 into t is equal to 0 and this implies minus 2 x1 plus 3 x2 plus x3 equal to 0 so this is nothing but required a linear combination of x1 x2 x3 at t is equal to 1 for different value of t we get the different relation so this is a particular case of a linear combination of x1 x2 x3 so this is how we have to solve the examples i hope this will help you thank you very much